Hi, I want to show you a really quick video before we get started on the Baby Boy album. And it's because I've gotten a lot of requests before I start. There are three different page styles that you're going to use. And that um, we've all used and they've been around forever. So we're going to start with the 6x6 six six page. And like I said, this is the pages that myself and the design team, we've been using for years and years. They've been around forever. And um, these are the pocket pages that slide over your hinges. So for the first one, I'm just going to do a 6x6. Six six. I'm going to do the three most popular sizes that I use in my tutorials. So for a 6x6 six six pocket page, of course you need the 6x6 six six base. And then you need a 7 inch by 6 inch. Reason being is we're going to score on both ends at half of an inch. And I turn, I always like to start over here because I know it's going to be exact and not off from me cutting. All you have to do is flip up your ends. Now this is going to give you the side pocket. So we're going to do a side pocket, a hidden pocket, and also a top load pocket. And whatever adhesive you're using, just sits right there inside your fold. I like the 3 eighths of an inch score tape. Miter your top corners. Sorry, went off the camera. And then just match it to your top. Now sometimes your top might be just a hair too long, so go ahead and just cut off about a sixteenth of an inch. You don't want it to overhang. In fact, you just want it to be either matching or a little bit hair shorter. What I do, I like to start at the end that I did not miter. Remove a portion of your score tape. Line up your page and then remove it. And just by removing that small amount, it gives it a good base it, it ha attaches and then you don't have to worry if it's crooked. You can remove that little corner. Do the same for the other side and it's really quick that way. And then the side that you mitered, well that's going to be the front where the pocket's going to go. It just kind of hides it a little bit. And then this side will go onto your hinge. Sometimes you'll have a little bit of overhang. So I just open my page because it bugs me. Clip it off. And even it up. It's not quite even. So there is, now this, this is the side that's going to go on the hinge and then, no, this is the side that's going to go on the hinge and this is the side that your tag will come out of. So that is your side load page. For our next one we're going to do either, you can do this as a hidden pocket or mini pocket or you can also do it as a very small pocket. So I like to do mine on these when they're five by eight, so it's more of your long and narrow. And then this piece, three inches by nine inches. I'll show you. So we're going to just score on the nine inch side, half and a half. And I'll show you what I mean by this can be a hidden. So if you don't want any pocket at all, you'll just mat right on top. So let's go ahead and very similar to our side load pocket. Okay, couldn't find the tape. Then we're going to go ahead and put your adhesive. And I don't worry about mitering the corners on this one. And again, I'm just going to remove a portion of my score tape going to sit down here at the bottom. And then the same. It's almost like building a belly band. But you're putting it on the end. Or you can call it a half page pocket. Now, this is the side that will go on your hinge then you'll be able to either make some small tags that will go in or let me grab a piece of paper 
you can actually take your paper and mat. Just mat completely on top of it. And then you just, this, the hinge part is hidden because it's going to sit on top of the hinges and you've just got a solid page with no pocket, but it is attached to the hinge and you, you've got that extra strength. You don't want to just, let me grab a hinge and show you. I should have one sitting out somewhere. I usually do. Let me just fold this. So this is going to be my hinge, regardless of the hinge system. And I've got other tutorials where I show. So your page will sit inside of your hinge. Of course, it'd be the same length. But you don't ever want to have your hinge and just tape your page to it because you're going to lose the added strength of the double paper. So your hinge will be inside like so. Then you can choose if you just want this to be a small pocket or a matted page. And it's not too bulky, so no one will know that that hinge is under there, but the hinge is there, the strength is there, and your pages won't be ripping off of your hinge. So let's go ahead and make our top load. So if you want your tags to pull out from the top, I'm going to do the popular size of eight by eight. And let me tell you though, you can make this up to 11 by 11. That's about as big as your page can go doing it with your pockets. So my bay, I mean my hinge part is going to be eight and a half by eight and a half. Now on the top load, you're going to go ahead and score at one half. Just flip it one half. It doesn't matter what where you flip it because yes, it does. There you go. You just turn it over. So we have half on this side, half on the bottom. Hinges are going to be to your left, so you always want to make sure your score is on the right. And if you've ever made pockets, you're going to notice the similarities here. So we have that folded up on our three sides. Add your score tape. Then on the tape side, now I'm going to turn it over. It makes it easier for me to see. I'm going to just cut it as if I was doing a regular pocket that's going to sit on my page. Okay, now I'm just going to remove that one. And still, I probably should have just removed a small amount until I've made sure my page fit. Looks like it's going to be okay. So I'm going to start, since I take the tape off on this end, so I've just adhered it. Go ahead and take off your bottom. Keep it on camera the right way, you would understand. There we go. So now, this is this side is going to sit on your hinge. Now, because the hinge will be the full length, there's going to be tape. So when it sits down on your hinge, see it will close it. And now we have the top load page. So now your tags can be at the top and then you have your fold on the right, open on the left. So these are the three most popular page styles that I use and that you'll be seeing in the videos. Your top load page, been around for centuries. I know we've all used it and I like to call this my hidden, the hidden pocket hinge. Um, or you can do it as a mini hinge and then just your side load six by six. So I hope that helped and clarified the three different page styles that I use on my hinges. And if you have any questions, just leave, leave me a comment and I'll get right back with you. Thanks for watching.